Hello everybody, my name is Rhiannon and this is Suzanne Jeffries. Hey guys. Hello and we are going to present to you some amazing products today. We're going to show you how to use BB cream. Have you guys heard of BB cream? I had never heard of BB <laughs> cream. I gotta be honest, I'm out of the loop on the skincare makeup stuff and so thank goodness I have my friend Rhiannon who is a professional makeup artist. Is it Rhiannon? Would you please show me what BB cream is and also like how to use it for Contouring, never heard of it, I'm out of the loop. So thank you for Rhiannon. We thought, you know what? You guys may not know it either. So she thought she'd show you as well as me. I used to do makeup artistry years ago when I was in Seattle, I worked with models and I did some runway stuff and I really um, enjoyed working with several different makeup lines. Um, so this is kind of my first experience with BB cream nonetheless. Um, so after these amazing products, you can actually just apply the BB cream on um, just to even out your skin tone, it corrects. Um, and the best thing is it has SPF 30. So if you don't want to do your full face and full makeup, you don't have to. You can just put on the BB cream, call it a day, head out of the house and be ready to go. Um, and this is not just any BB cream. This is the brand new youth line that was just launched about two weeks ago. Um, incredible. I love the fact that it is vegan. It is gluten free. It is cruelty free. Never tested on animals. But I think the best part, Rhiannon, is it has all this vitamin therapy for the skin. So every single product is a treatment. Even the makeup, the BB cream, which stands for Beauty Balm. Beauty Balm. Right? Yep. Who knew? So I'm excited. All right, girl, work your magic. <laughs> So what we're going to show you today is actually um, because the line comes with four different um, tones uh, for skin tones for BB cream, we're going to actually show you how to contour. Um, for me, um, because I live in Florida, I am using kind of a mix of a three and four. Um, and the four is our darker um, color. And that actually I've put on my skin just plain by itself. And that's really all I need. Um, but Suzanne, however, is just a little lighter skin tone, especially with the red hair. So we are going to just do a little contouring um, with this darker um, number four to be able to give her a little bit more um, depth and definition in those beautiful <laughs> cheekbones. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to start off. Um, you can use a brush or you can use a little sponge. It just depends on what you want to do for the contouring. Um, maybe I'll come in a little bit so people can see a little more what yes. you're doing there. So... What we usually have when you want to contour is you want to actually, the first thing you want to do is suck in your cheekbones. I know we're all going to laugh. Do you remember like making the duck face when you were a kid? <laughs> Wait, you didn't tell me we were doing duck face. <laughs> duck face. <laughs> so you're going to actually suck it in. So everybody looks really crazy at this point. Mm -hmm. So we're actually just going to start with this brush here. And you're all doing this with me, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're just going to do a little bit on the side here and we're going to do a little bit on the side here. Now that looks like war paint right now. So obviously we're not going to let her leave the house looking like this. A duck with war paint on. Right. So we're actually just going to blend in a little bit of that. Um, and the reason we're using a sponge and a brush is because obviously your powder brush for your bronzer is going to work good for a powder uh, foundation um, and this is a liquid so we really want to get the best blended mm -hmm. uh, product that we can and we're going to rub it in on this side. Now what color did you use for this? Ring? This is number four. Okay so this is the darkest one. This is the darkest one yes. Um, so there we go we've got that so far not bad so if Suzanne mm -hmm. doesn't want to put on a bronzer she doesn't want to spend the money wow. for a ton of different products we're literally just using number four here. Now this is awesome because she already put uh, BB cream on earlier today. Now which uh, one did you use earlier I used today? I three, just as my she, she used the three, that's perfect because she's got a little, a little darker skin for um, Florida but not mm -hmm. super, super dark. Um, so we're able to use the two different options to give her that nice look without applying a ton of makeup. Um, let's say she wants to hit the beach okay. later, she doesn't have to put anything crazy on and feel like she's sweating all of her makeup off. Um, and also, like I said earlier, this does have the SPF 30, so she's already got the sun protection. These um, cheekbones will not get sun. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's getting the, the benefits of the whole skincare line, which we can definitely talk about in an, another video as well. But mm -hmm. these all really go together really, really nicely. And there's yeah. nothing toxic at there all isn't. in this makeup, right? Yeah, this I love is, that. This is what's I great really about that. this particular line, and it is, it is brand new. They just released it um, just a couple weeks ago to yeah. all of us who are currently working with this product line. Um, and, and you want them to look prettier exactly. and younger without all the yes. garbage in the makeup. Yes, it's free of 2,500, um, is it like particular? Forbidden, 
for forbidden ingredients, toxic right? ingredients. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of skincare lines out there. There's a lot of makeup lines out there. Um, a lot of them prove to give results, but we don't know what the heck it's freaking doing with our skin. So this is yeah. one of them that uh, will not have the negative effects. It's like beauty without compromise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so we can use the brown to contour the cheekbones. Mm -hmm. What else would you use that darker um, shade for? Somebody who wants a little bit more of a cheek uh, line, I would say to hide any yes, particular please. sagging lines. Um, we're always worrying about our skin sagging over the years. Anybody mm -hmm. at least over 40 is like, oh my God, my skin's sagging. <laughs> so you don't have to go all dramatic, but just a nice light line. Um, for stage makeup, when I used to do uh, performing arts in um, middle school, in high school, in college, um, we would really cake this stuff on and it was Pretty incredible. It's a little bit much, obviously, but we can just do a lighter version of this to give her that under okay, so underneath I have no idea the chin. How to do this. I'm happy you're showing, so I'll come in a little closer. So again, um, I'm just going to use actually just the sponge instead of this like huge harsh line that we did with the brush earlier. We, we, okay. You can certainly use the brush as well, um, but I'm just going to do a light little skin tap. We're going to start from the chin, and you're going to work your way out. And um, this is great for film um, if you're going to be doing some stage makeup. Like I said, you'd really want to kick that on. But if she just wants to look, let's have you turn this way just a second. There we go. So we're going to go from the chin all the way to the cheek so we don't have like a giant chunk by your ear. Or like make it look like five o'clock shadow. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> She's definitely not a guy. We're not going for anything extreme. You guys might not notice this in particular from your angle because this is obviously... Um, computer video, but um, it does add a little bit nice lightness and then she can walk around with this and not have to feel like, oh my God, it's so much. This is so awkward. We've got a line. You know, you, you can tell when somebody has like a lip line on. It's true. It's a little bit much, um, but this, this is just very nice. It's very light. So just to define the cheekbone a little bit exactly. more. Exactly. Define yep. the, the cheekbones, the jawbone. Exactly. What define else would you use that for? Anything else? Um, you were saying something about nose before? Yes, yeah, there, there's an option you can put on to contour the nose a little bit. If you wanted to make your nose look a tad bit thinner, we can. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that as well. Okay, my nose is pretty thin, but, um, and but some people may want to do that. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's yeah. totally an option. I'm going to wipe a little bit of this off, and for the nose, I would use the brush because we are really going to define okay. um, the nose a little bit better. So we're going to just do a tiny bit on this side. It's so right on the sides of the bridge of the nose. Exactly, sides okay. of the bridge of the nose. I'm glad you were more specific. I just, I just do it. I don't well, know, you know how, to how to do it. it. I'm trying to figure it out. And we're just gonna blend that in. Okay. Now, do you need to put another layer of the base on top of this? Or no, that? you you would leave okay. the, this alone. So if if okay. Suzanne wanted to go ahead and do her first layer with this level three, um, that would be super easy. And then right. we're just doing the, the contouring with the level four afterwards. Okay. You wouldn't need to do anything special. Um, so we're going to actually just leave that alone for the contouring as, uh, for right now. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I wanted to show you, if she wants to accentuate and kind of get rid of some of those under eye bags, maybe she didn't sleep so well the night before. Yes, um, please. We're, we're going to use not a dark color this time, is we're going to use a lighter color. So she's already a three, so we're going to use a two. Um, there's also a one as well, but um, I don't want to make it look so light that it looks like she's really, really white. So we're going to use the level two. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that underneath the eyes. And I'm just gonna use a sponge for this so we can gently pat on, nothing too crazy. You don't need to use a brush because we're not really defining a, you know, exact lines. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. So if I was just doing this to myself at home, would I just put it on my fingers? Yeah, yep, you can okay. easily just tap on the fingers and just underneath, Got it. underneath the okay. eyes. All right, so we're just gonna apply just a tiny bit here. And the nice thing is, um, this pro this product says evenly corrects and tones and all this fun stuff. Um, what it does is it's going to highlight and it's going to going to bring a little bit of nice um, sheen to it, a little little nice shine. So um, if she was looking a little puffy under here, Ooh. it would definitely brighten it up. And this is very light, you guys. We could definitely do um, perhaps a little bit lighter as well, and even mm -hmm. a little highlighter powder if yeah. we wanted to. But nice. um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just very light, you know, this, this isn't a huge example of, wow, look at the before and after, but it's just enough that you can really see a difference and, and feel a difference. And again, all this is, is the same uh, using the SPF 30 so she can hit the beach afterwards if she wants to, she, she could go to work. Um, it's not using a ton of makeup. You can just blot it on and go. It doesn't it's have really to be, too. doesn't have to be too hard. 
So yeah. it looks like there's not much smell. Let me see. There was a little card here. Do you know where that is so we can see what yeah. the shade are? Absolutely. Because one of the it's things... It's sitting right underneath our uh -huh. tray one right here. One of the here. things I learned, I don't know if it was from you or from the makeup artist, is we use this. This is a little chart that comes with um, if you are a, a business owner. And see, there's four different shades. One, two, three, four. And is this true? Someone said to me, you can most easily match your shade by going to this part of your arm. Do you agree with that? Or do you have yeah, I, I would say that's, that's generally true. Um, but I would also check on your uh, cheekbone as well. So they also say compare on your cheekbone. And of course, we mm -hmm. would do this before we had any right. makeup already on our skin. Um, but some of us um, are outside in the sun and our, um, right. our face is a little different than our... Um, arm as well. So I would say do both. Go ahead and do both and just kind of take a, I shouldn't say take a guess, but a lot of people are ordering all four shades of the, this BB cream so you can play around with, with um, the contouring or customized. lighter. Customize. Yeah, three custom or foundation. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Yeah, like and that. it's so light, it just glides on really easily. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need a whole lot on, which is why I want to, to prove that this isn't like a huge dramatic makeover yeah. um, because this is so light and it's gentle. It's so nice on your skin, and the best thing is it comes off really easily at night, especially with, with these amazing youth products. So. And it's nurturing my skin while it's making me look better. So exactly. thank you. I Bonus. really appreciate that. Yay. <laughs> and listen, if you want to learn more, talk to the person who shared this with you or call Rhiannon or reach out to Rhiannon. What's the best way for people to reach out to you? Um, Rhiannon Marie at hotmail.com. I'm also Rhiannon Marie.com and Suzanne Jeffries is American Healthy Lifestyle Club. If you mm -hmm. want to get in contact with her as well. Dot com, right? Or just Suze Jeffries1 at Gmail. Listen, reach out to us. Let us know if we can help and may you be young and beautiful and feel gorgeous naturally. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.